Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hills. When we left off last time, we finally managed to uh, get to a new area, this underground, uh, and we have to start a machine, which is missing fuel. So we need to go find a container, I believe, of said fuel. We also got ourselves a battle axe, which was pretty hardcore. However, we can't really wield that very well, and I hear monsters. Oh my! Monsters! Hello my friend, also my fan is on, I hope it's not too loud, although it doesn't seem to be too bad. Come on you ugly sack of shit, you giant penis monster. Eat my pipe! My pipe is bigger than your pipe. Read into that what you will. Now if you could die quietly, thank you. Oh yeah, I remember, because we were, we heard him, but we didn't actually see him last time, did we? Aha! Titan remembers everything! Uh, apart from when he doesn't, which is fairly often, to be fair. Right, what do we have Ha. Uh, not much, actually. Apart from an uh, uh, Irish seat there. Oh, hello! Engage! Give them no quarter! Come on, you! Come on! Me and you! Monster Agurlo. Come on, there we go, a little bit more. Ah, we got the metal guys. I don't like the metal guys. I usually like the metal guys, but not these metal guys. These metal guys suck. Oh, abort, abort. Exit, stage left. Shit. Okay, I actually don't want to fight these guys because they're kind of not worth it. There's nothing in the drum can. Well, forget about that. Okay, yes, we shall forget about that. Cardboard box. Uh. No, trying to read the stuff. Cannot read quick enough, obviously. Um, okay. So we're in a room with those annoying goits. Those scratchy goits. The scratchiest of goits. Uh, what about this one? There's nothing in the drum can. Forget about that as well. There can't be nothing in here. What's that in the middle? Alright, we might have to take this guy down. We may have to do that. Ah, we're injured because, of course, we are. Let's drink one of those. Eat one of those. There we go. We're now fine. Um, let's use our handgun. How much do we actually have for the handgun? I wish it kind of told us there how much handgun ammo we have. Being supplies, wouldn't it? Never mind. Uh, let's get some distance. There we go. Alrighty. So, ooh, we don't have a lot, which is slightly concerning. I don't have a lot for that either. No. All right. Oh god. Damn. Damn it. I don't like these things. They hurt. And I don't know how to avoid them. We can't. Oh, actually. We shoot. No, because you just can't move quick enough. Right, fuck you, buddy. Maybe we can handle just one of them. Oh, what's this? I can't budge it, no matter how much I try. I think it must be rusted shut. Mm. Oh, he's on the floor. Hi there, buddy. How do they land then? There must be some methodology behind it. Of course. Oh shit, he's back up. We can't swap them down. And on top of that, we can't get close enough to them either, which is a bit sucky. Um, right, so this is just a closed room. That's no good. That's no good. What are we going to do? Ah. Ah, we have options. Okay. Right, let's go back the way we came before we squander more of our precious health. We don't really want to be squandering much more of our precious health. That would be bad. Because we don't have a lot of precious health left. Which is bad. Especially given our present situation here. Right, okay. Come on. Let's get you out of here. So how did I overlook that other room? Actually, I believe I overlooked the other room because I was trying to find a safe spot, if I remember correctly. Okay. So on the next left, straight ahead. 
Seems fairly easy, doesn't it? Surely? Maybe? Question mark? Yes, back to the long corridor. The corridor of solitude, which contains no enemies, which is nice. What's this? Can we fondle that? No, we can't. Sad times. I was hoping it might be something. There are some objects here on the floor. They don't appear to do anything. It's just flavor. Flavor country. Um, right. Okay. So we need to turn behind us and then take another left. I gotcha. I gotcha. See, I can do map reading. Kind of. Poorly. Like pretty much everything else. I do everything poorly. But I do everything. You know, jack of all trades, master of none. That's me. Hmm. So, we're going to continue in the dark, wandering these lonely halls. Evening. What was that? At least this door does open. My concern was this was going to be another locked one. Which would be counterproductive. What do we have here? Another Irish wheelbarrow. That's fine. Irish wheelbarrow, I mean Irish seat. So health, health. Beef jerky. Wine in a place like this? Well, I suppose it is dark and dry. That's true. One of the bottles is empty. Oh. Okay, so I guess we're going to fill the wine bottle up. Uh, with fuel. And ah, fucking hell. Oh, you... Right, you little bastard. Taste my pipe. I've already tasted your long phallus thing. And I didn't like it. No, sir, I didn't like it. Come on, you. Oh, God, what the hell is going on with the controls there? Dance around him. Dance around him like the warrior you are. There we go. Give him no quarter. Leave him battered, bruised, and bleeding. Right, let's continue down here. We have a cone. Can't really do much with a cone, I would wager. At least we've got some more health items. Ah, a barrel. With some shotgun shells. Are we injured? No, we're alright. We're good. We're good. We're not fantastic, but we're good. We can't go anywhere that way. Always nice to find shotgun shells. You know, I think Resident Evil should have had more melee weapons, thinking about it. Maybe some bladed items. But then, I suppose, when you think about the lore of Resident Evil... I mean, yeah, you get the knife. Um, but if you think about the law of Resident Evil, you know, any bite or scratch uh, kind of turns you. Which is funny when you think about it. Because we get bitten an awful lot. Which is awkward. Um, hmm. So where would there be some fuel? There's nothing down that dead end. Have we already gone past the fuel? Was there fuel in the room? There might have been fuel in the Ah, yes. In the item room. Maybe. The save area, if you will. Let's go back and have a little gander, shall we? I can't remember where the fuel is. I wouldn't have thought it would be that far away from the machine. However, I could be wrong. I also like the way Silent Hill spawns enemies um, at you when you're making progress. Uh, kind of like Resident Evil does in some situations. But Silent Hill genuine, uh, generally is always working against you. Whereas obviously Resident Evil doesn't work like that. As it is more grounded in reality, <laughs> grounded in reality. I guess, I guess that works. We can genuinely say that with a smile on our face. Resident Evil was always uh, more realistic, whereas this is much more surreal, psychological, if you will. Well, it is psychological. Everything that pretty much happens in the realm of Silent Hill is psychological. It is that that place that feeds on your psyche. All the monsters and whatnot. Kind of uh, built up from your imagination. And 
the, the very place itself is reconstructed from your imagination uh, to a degree, which is cool. That's one of the things that I find so fascinating uh, with Silent Hill, and it's also one of the th one of the reasons why um, I can I can see a continuation of the Silent Hill series because there's so many possibilities. Uh, sadly, that we we might not get again unless someone else picks it up. I find it hard to think that they're going to let Silent Hill slip away into the night. However, well, that doesn't sound good down there. However, we are talking about Konami here, and let's be honest, they don't really give a shit. Might be able to fuel the tank. There's nothing in it, though. Right, so where would there be fuel? Let's check the room next door. So many possibilities with Silent Hill, you know? I mean, Downpour, I never played that. We will get to that at some point to see if it truly is as bad uh, as everybody says. Um, you know, you've got to be objective about these things. Try it for yourself. It's cheap enough now. Right, now, I'm guessing maybe there's some fuel in here. Although, looking at this, this room... Oh yeah, there was fuel in here. What a dumbass I am. There is some kerosene left in the heater. Looks like if I had some sort of container, I could take it with me. Well, well, well. We have a bottle here of the finest vino, I am sure. Um, there we go. Put kerosene in the wine, uh, in the wine bottle. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Now these bad nicks have spawned. Come at me, bro. What have you got? Come on, stick and move. Stick and move. Oh wow, there's a few of them. Don't get cornered. Never show your back to the enemy. There we go. We shall make a maiden of battle out of you. You're doing well. Keep it up, Heather. Oh dear. Keep it up. I said, I said, keep it up. Keep swinging that thing. Damn it. Really didn't want to get hit by these things. They are not worthy. Excellent. Are we really injured? No. We're just exhausted. There is a difference. Okay, let's go. Now, let's go see if we can drain this out. Although, I'm not sure where this is going to take us, to be honest. Right. Uh... Right, let's put the fuel in. Um, like so. Although, if that's a standard bottle, that's only 75 uh, CLs of liquid, which isn't a lot. Doesn't work. Well, there's a button there, I suppose. Let's go fiddle with our button, shall we? Should work now. Is that the button? Yeah, let's throw the switch. And let the magic happen. Well, it's doing something.
Okay. So, okay, we're kind of back. Uh, my stream deck appears to have crashed. It's working now, but it crashed and my mic went off. Or should I say, my mic wasn't turning back on. Hmm, that's the first case I've had that happening. That's kind of annoying. Hmm, okay. That's annoying. We almost had a Silent Hill uh, video without an edit. It should light up when the mic is uh, activated. I hope it's on now. Otherwise, this is going to be a, a wasted episode. Which would be unfortunate. Right, ooh. Okay, let's go across. So we found a dryer. So, uh, as I said, if a monster comes along, we can give them a wicked perm. Which would be quite cool. You know, a monster with a perm. I'll be up for seeing that. Right, forwards. Oh! Oh, dearie me. No, sir! Back, you beast! Back, demon! I will have none of this to stay. There we go. Oh, God, we're getting a bit of a kick in here. Come on. Take the big one out. That's what happens when you get into trouble. You always go for the big one. At least... I think that's how it happens. Or, or do you just run away and tell everybody you went for the big one? That's probably more apt. You fucker. This is the little ones you want to watch out for. They are numerous and many. What the hell is making all that sound? Okay, the sound has now stopped. I don't think the actual combat music stops until the bodies deflate. Which is a little bit concerning. Ah, oh, man, we almost had a whole episode without any issues. Uh, the cardboard box doesn't have anything useful in it. All right, I'll take your word for it. Nothing in the drum can. Okay, I guess we can't go through this door. Lock is broken. Excellent. Well, that just narrows down our options, so, you know. No monsters to perm yet. At least, we haven't tried that. Maybe we should. Although we need power. We don't have any batteries or anything on us, so... Ooh. Ah, a save room. We're on 20 of a minute. Let's drop a save. Uh, is it really okay to delete the save game? I'd rather you didn't, if that's cool. In fact, now I'm going to make another save. Just in case we don't do something stupid later. And it's me. So it's highly likely that we will do something stupid. Titan is stupid. There are documents on the floor. They don't look like they have anything to do with me. But they've got today's date on them. That's weird. Hmm, that is weird. So something happened this day. Health drink. Nice. What's here? Anything else? Anything on the chalkboard? There's nothing very interesting written on the chalk blackboard. How can you be so sure? That looks like a little safe. It's not a little safe. The drawer is open, but only filled with boring documents. What's that? Danger. Keep out. Probably uh, pasted on that door. I can see where it fell off. Oh, goody gumdrops. And they've given us a health item as well. So. Have they given us any ammo? Doesn't look like it. There's something written on the notebook. There's a monster in the water. The bastards killed two of my buddies. I should never have doubted that old urban legend about alligators in the sewer. That was no myth. But no one believes me. They were drunk. Uh, and slipped. We're not that damn stupid. Even calling it a monster isn't quite right. This is something else. All I know is something's in there. I'm going in now to beat that thing's head in. If you find this note, consider it my will. Uh, revenge is futile. Or so you may think reading this. But Josie and Jamie were my best buddies. I wish I knew how... 
to do the deed. Guns don't work underwater. Even my famous knife work won't do much here. If only I had a hand grenade. So we need some kind of explosive. We need to go all sapper on this guy. Ah, <sighs> explosives, eh? Okay. There's a memo posted here. I can't tell what it says. It doesn't look like English. It probably isn't English, then. Ah, man. Caution. Right, so, ad victorium, guys. Well, there's a lot of blood. So, I mean, that's something. Oh, you... Give me a damn heart attack, woman. Let's try that one more time with about 50% less fail. Ooh. I've had a headache with pictures. <sighs> well... Well, well, well. I'm guessing we need to plug the dryer in and throw that into the water to electric electrocute. Is that possible? Is that something that we can do? Yeah, she's looking at that. We've got to pick up the health drink again. Alright, um... A hand grenade. Is there, like, some kind of electrical socket here? See, this is... This this is always something that I find quite fascinating about Silent Hill. Silent Hill always gives you the tools um, to survive. Which is kind of interesting. Which is why I kind of believe... Silent Hill isn't actually a physical place, it's it's somewhere you go mentally on another plane. They might have actually explained that at one point. Um, I'm not sure. Right, let's use that there. There's your perm, you bitch. All you needed was a dryer, my friend. Good thing that had quite the cord on it. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. That'll be eight eight pounds fifty, please, for your perm. Actually, that would be a very cheap perm. My haircut costs eight pounds fifty. A perm would probably be like fifty quid. What kind of valve could this be? I doubt it's anything important. I'll just leave it alone for now. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're basically on half an hour here, guys. So. Ah, uh, but I want to look and see what's through the door. No, I guess there's not much through the door. Another corridor. I guess that's fairly standard. Right. I'm guessing... Oh, we can't go there. The drum is in the way. Okay, fair play. I guess we're not going in there then. Onwards, mighty warrior. Shouldn't make a kilt out of you yet. So, ooh, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Yeah, we're on half an hour here, guys. So I'm going to go back to that room and save it. And when we come back, we're going to continue exploring. And hopefully, we're going to have a video... I hope my stream deck is not lying to me. I hope my mic actually is working. And then hopefully... Um, we're going to continue and explore and find some cool stuff. And maybe have a video that I don't have to edit as much would be fantastic as well. You know. Because I'm lazy. You know, I'm not going to lie. Right. I work very hard. So it's nice to have... You know, something where you don't have to put quite so much effort into. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.